Hi all. Just I am going to be highlight how to create your whiteboard or your blackboard in the PowerPoint presentation during your presentations. So while teaching something abstract concept to the classrooms, we may always depends on the whiteboard or your blackboard for explaining the concept. But in the context of the PowerPoint, so we are not able to find the solution on it. But there is a PowerPoint there providing a very beautiful features. That feature only I may focusing. While you presenting, how we can use the PowerPoint slide as a blackboard. For that I am doing a demonstrations now. In the slideshow view, if you keep the cursor, you may get the there is a six help menu in down in the left down. The first one is a backward options or the previous slide. This is a forward option. This is for pen symbol. This is for the slide view. This is for the zoom option. The last one, if you click here, you are going to get a lot of options. In this, there is an option called screen. Once you click the screen, we may get the two options, black screen or white screen. If you want to get the, the blackboard, you can use the black screen. If you want to use as a whiteboard as a presentation, you can use the white screen. Before selecting this black screen or white screen, first thing we have to go to the third icons. We have to select the pen color. Suppose I like to go with the blackboard. Due to the reasons, I am going to select a yellow color pen. So after selecting the pen, once again we can keep the cursor in the down. You can go to the, the circle inside the three dots. Once you click here, we are getting the screen options. Once I click screen, we may get the black screen. Once I click black screen, now automatically the black screen views comes. There we can write, suppose I like to go with mathematics. I am writing as mathematics, math. Suppose I like to explain the then right angle triangle, you can draw the right angle triangle. So if you are using a stylus pen, that handwriting should be it's very clean in nature. So while you're using a mouse, that kind of flexibility won't be there. Suppose I like to write the formula a plus b the whole square. So a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. What are things we are writing in the normal board, the same thing we can write it with the use of mouse. If your laptop or your tablet is a touchscreen based, you can use the stylus pen, you can, we can write it in a good manner. Suppose I like to be erase the entire thing. So normally we are erasing or we are up the board, no? the same process will be available here. For that we can click the third pen options. If you find click the third pen options, we may get the options called erase all ink on slides. If you want to erase the entire board, you can use this option. If you want to erase one by one, you can use the eraser. But I like to go with erase all ink on slides. I am erasing all within a single click. Suppose I like to go with the next slides. So if you want to go with the next slides, you can use this option. Otherwise, go with enter. Then we may go to the next slide. Parallelly, some shortcut also is available for reaching a blackboard while presenting. Now I am the presentation screen. I want to go with the blackboard screen once again. Instead of going with this options, uh, if you go here, then if you click here, then only we may reach the black screen. Instead of that, you like to go, you like to go directly with the shortcut. There is options B. We, we have to click or a press or hit B in the keyboard. Automatically the screen may come. Now I'm going to hit the B symbol. Now see here the blackboard screen comes. Now I'm going to write my name. I'm going to write my name. Suppose I, I like to write um, psychology, so I can write like psychology. So what are things you want to write, we can write with blackboard. So we can change the pen color also. If you need to be change the pen color, you can go to the third options. We can select the pen color, which color we want to be right in the board. The same manner, how we can go with whiteboard. So now I'm going to be moved to the next slide in the sense, we can go with any key or you can go with the enter button, the next slide we may move. Now I am going to focus how we can use as a whiteboard as while you presenting the uh, presentations. For that once again I am going with the help menu, the last options, then I am going to the screen, then I am going with the white screen. So, but previously I have selected as a yellow color, but it is not be suitable in the whiteboard with the yellow color pen. Therefore, first I am going to be select other color for some contrast color I am selecting as a red color. Then after selecting the red color, I am going to here, 
uh, in the, the last options there i'm going to the screen in the screen i'm going to select the white screen if you click white screen automatically the whiteboard may comes to us you can write as we like suppose i like playing the the square i'm going to draw a square so a a a a so want to write the heading i can write the heading like this so we can explain the entire things with the use of the blackboard this is the same mechanism we are adopting in the regular classes but while you're going for this kind of virtual meeting uh, we have to depend on some kind of whiteboard instead of it depends on the third party tools we have to use the ppt itself some of the features this feature if you are using it's good for us that's why i'm explaining this to you then if you want to be come back to the normal presentation view click any key otherwise click this button automatically mouse uh, the another slide I may get it from here the same way previously I may talking about the how we can use a shortcut for reaching the black screen the same manner while you're presenting if you want to go for white screen there's a shortcut is there uh, we can click or press or hit W in the keyboard automatically the whiteboard may comes now just I pressed that's why I reached uh, this white screen so in this manner we can go and select whiteboard as well the blackboard if I want to go further if I click enter automatically the slide which is previously using and if you want to go to the next slide we knows already the key shortcut go with the enter or the next button so I'm going to the enter now we may reach the, the last slide so thank you so much I hope it may be very useful for you too thank you bye